here from game number one to game number two for both sides. Yeah, Brom Koki for FlyQuest and who he says, all right, this is my counter pick before. Ah. I'll just play it again here with the Velcos. So they do flex the Galio. Oh, for Olaf early, unless he gets invaded by something like a Lee Sin or a Kha'Zix that's going to kill him. Oh, the hook lands in bottom side, Aphromoo. Long range there, the play's going to move him back. Ignite's down, that's first blood. Whoa, super late flash there from Lemon Nation yeah, Studio. Hi, no summoners. Ooh, flash flag going to miss. Look for it again. Another great predict from Afro. Knock up a little short, but he gets moved back into it. Massive play as Omar picks up a kill. Can't be surprised there. Easily punish another roam from Aphromoo, and he's off. Oh, he's found Turtle. Going to flame back towards the Olaf, and now, okay, where do I go? Turtle, yep, nowhere Ooh. is the answer. Afro, a well-deserved kill for himself. Yeah, he's actually going to get out of this one. Oh, it does hop out of the way, but there's Fates Call. Pop Balls looking for the Mega. They're going to try and turn around, but 3v1 doesn't feel very fair. The double Wallop is going to land, but he gets hooked by Afro. Should be enough in there. Sticks they claiming kill number two. All right, let's see what they do with this because CLG can transition. A bit of speed boost. Flash out of the way. Afro over the wall. And there's the playback in. There's the knockoff of the Velcos. And goodbye. CLG roaming death squad finds yeah, it's, us. It's very risky to push up. Play under Turtle. Hooks him as well. Disintegration rate's going to burn down Turtle. Dash on now with a flank and a loop that's torn up high. And it's just a massacre in the mid lane. Yeah, you could say risky. And uh, CLG definitely punished him. Try and steal this one. And who he's just going to zone him out of the way. Moon's going to get knocked up and going to try and get himself back into the pit. Who he's going to make sure it doesn't happen in time. And even if he gets in there, I think he's got enough burst. There's the Ren. Going to take down the Baron. Ulti there going to be committed as Moon does get a kill. Ball's going to go down. He actually leapt into the pit as well. So that's where the extra damage came from as Ball's gets one. But summoners down. Yeah. Ball's moving back a little there. Oh, oh. Lemon being caught out of position. Oh, no, grabbing his fourth kill again. We're down on the enemy team. Now engaging for yep. the pick. They want to take the jungler down. Moon going to get knocked back into the team. He should fall to the lock and stone blade. Might keep him alive with the damage. More than enough for who he is. He goes down. Darshan burns the ulti for a bit of extra style and knock up there onto balls. And that's three members of FlyQuest dead. Baron might not even be needed anymore. It's Turtle flashing out of that ulti. Who he flashing forward. <laughs> going to force Turtle summoner there. Tried to pick him off. All right, looks like they're going for the end here. CLG looking to end it in a very quick 2 0. Actually, just uh, teleporting onto the minion, gets a little further forward as Dasha and looks to zone them out of the way. 20 seconds left on Moon, balls following him 10 more. Uh oh! A too low, Dasha gets out of the locker pops, but Afro's actually fallen to Turtle. Maybe a little too much as Six A does take down Lemon again, who just came fresh off the respawn. Nice punish there from FlyQuest, but they still got some work to do. CLG inside the base. Retreating, trying to take down the turret as they go, but Omar's tanking the turret damage. There is high, gets burnt down by Huhi. Laser able to take for play around Baron. Well, have to try something, but CLG already with the easy response. Ball's going to go mega, but tight out of the way. Knocks one back. It's only Dutch on as the tank moves back towards Wild Turtle, but Ball's Gonna stay tanky for a little while longer. Who he gonna try and burn down Moon? He goes down. Of Turtle gonna be the next target. That's gonna be effectively the Aces Lemon Nation back off his second respawn of the last passage of play. And Baron just gonna get started. And Lemon Nation decides, I died twice already. I'm not face checking this. Yep, gonna have to clear the minions in their base. But CLG now with Baron buff should just go for the recall and then try and push again. They definitely got punished for going for the super quick end there. Steel stacks and four items. <laughs> I mean, that, actually going to have to sell that Dark Seal. He wants to finish probably a death game here to try and take if they need it in the bottom side of the map. And Flyquest will offer a pitiful defense as Omar rushes in and slows down Lemon and High. Afro again with a big play, plays High back, going to try and take out carry number one. He goes down as Turtle is trying in vain to get Dashun out of the back lane. He does get stunned by the Brawl, but Lantern taken out will keep him safe. And Huhi going to zone the rest of them out as inhib number one's going to fall in the mid lane. All right, five versus three. Elder Dragon buff on and CLG this time around. Yep. Only, Look at a finish. Only one turret left. They are speedy finish attempt to get it. That's another great hook from Mappo. It's going to seal Wild Turtle's fate. Balls goes down. Only one left there. It's Lemon. What's not? Never mind. He's absolutely dead. As CLG going to knock down the next turret. Ace Flyquest and complete the sweep 2 0 to start there next week. Who needs Rift Rivals, Kobe? Not CLG.